Hey, what's up guys? Calvin or Aiden here with another commentary for you guys. Uh, this time I want to talk about E3 and uh, what I think of what happened at E3 and what was announced and what was shown. This might be a little late, but uh, I think it's kind of good, you know. It's towards the end of July now and it's given a lot of thing it's given time for a lot of things to have developed and kind of allowed me to see the impacts that certain things at E3 have had on people. And of course, the three big things that people are always talking about are Microsoft's conf uh, press conference, Sony's conference, and uh, Nintendo's conference. And those are, those are the three big ones, because those are the three companies that basically uh, own the gaming in industry almost. Like, they have the biggest chunks in the just industry itself and so everyone pretty much follows those three I watched most of the Sony conference and uh, I didn't watch the Microsoft conference myself I watched like highlights and things about it I didn't have a lot of time to watch E3 this year and then of course Nintendo didn't actually have a conference this year which was the first time they done that in like a while and it was surprising for a lot of people, but in Nintendo's situation right now, they didn't really need a conference. There wasn't a... the Wii U's already been released and before all the other consoles and stuff. Uh, so they just kind of showed their games. And I think Nintendo did a pretty good job this year, and I'll talk about that in a sec. But first we're going to talk about Microsoft quickly. And the Xbox One, and my personal opinion about the Xbox One. I feel like the Xbox One could have been great, but they made a couple, yeah, they, they made a lot of mistakes. One, it's a gaming console, and they didn't really seem to be focusing it entirely on gaming. Uh, they wanted to be this device that could do everything in your room, which, you know, isn't honestly a terrible idea. Like, if you could have one device that just does everything for your family, like, you know, people have their PV, uh, not PVR, DVR, like, uh, their DVD player, their Blu-ray player, or their, and their gaming console, it'd be nice if, like, uh, one thing could be all of that. But I think... Since E3 is a gaming conference, they should have talked more about the gaming aspect of the Xbox One. And then you could have like thrown in all those other features later, maybe. But you want to be really spot on about all your gaming details. And that's why I feel like they lost a lot of people there. Another thing, the Xbox One, that's the name itself, which is the name is based on the fact that it's supposed to be the one thing in your living room. Uh is kind of a dumb name in my opinion and like they were <laughs> you, they were pretty hard pressed to pick a name worse than Wii U and they managed to pull it off and so props to Nintendo for not having the worst named console of the generation uh but yeah that's that name and then the whole thing with the used games and their internet policies, the always online DRM, you know, all these things just kind of added up and snowballed into the Xbox One being absolute shit in everyone's eyes. And the only people I know that are planning on purchasing an Xbox One didn't even look into it. They just want the Xbox One because it has Xbox in the name. And everyone else I know is, like, turning to PS4, which I'll talk about next. PS4 looks really... Uh, oh, one more thing I need to mention about the Xbox One. Microsoft, after seeing the poor publicity it was receiving after the E3 conference, obviously, like, was smart for once in the company's life and kind of was, was like, hmm, maybe we should, like, change some things. So they kind of did what they co people were calling a Xbox 180. But they changed a lot of their policies. But still, in my eyes, it's a little too late for them. And, um... I have no reason not to get a PS4. I think Sony will have a really good console this time around. Because the PS3 has always been really good. Anyway, Sony's press conference was pretty impressive. Uh, they had good policies for their used games. They had a funny video about it. Uh, all, of, all of their software looks promising. The console's power, like, it just all looks good. Uh, tons of games coming out for it. I'm so psyched. And... 
The only problem I have with the PS4, honestly, is that as of now, we're not getting Titanfall, and it is Titanfall is an Xbox exclusive, and Titanfall is supposed to be like basically the new COD. It's going to be the new, and I, I saw the gameplay trailer, and it looks fantastic. And PS4 won't be getting that now, and I'm rather disappointed. But I, we are getting Battlefront 3, Kingdom Hearts 3, which are sick, um, Destiny. Uh, the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghosts, which will be on Xbox as well, but, you know, what, whatever. It's the same on both systems, basically. So that'll, that'll be awesome. And, yeah, but the PS3, I mean, not PS3, the PS4 just looks, like, really promising to me. And I, that Sony really impressed me. And then, in Nintendo's corner, I think Nintendo actually did a good job without a conference, and... You know, they were talking about all their new games coming out. And I think the reason the Wii U's been such a failure at this point is because, one, it's more powerful than the Xbox 360 and the PS3, but it's not going to match up to the new consoles, the PS4 and the Xbox uh, Xbox One, like, at all. And that's kind of disappointing to me. And again, the name itself, uh, the Wii U, just isn't that... Uh, great to me, like, it, uh, me, I've always been a Nintendo fan, and I respect the console, and I want to get one once these new games start coming out, but, you know, like, Wii U, immediately, that puts a bad rap on the console, just because it has Wii in the name, because so many people dislike the Wii, and I think that was a really dumb marketing decision on Nintendo's part, but these, all these new games coming out look really promising, and I really think the sales for the console will pick up the new Smash Bros., the new Mario Kart, the new, uh, I think Pikmin came out in Japan already, but oh my goodness, these new Nintendo games coming out look awesome, and it'll finally give me a reason to purchase a Wii U, and I think it'll give a lot of other people a reason to purchase a Wii U. So I'll be looking forward to all of that. Overall, uh, I think Nintendo did it all right at the uh, E3. Sony did fantastic. Xbox, I, well, Microsoft just completely blew it, but they're trying to turn it around now. But I am definitely getting a PS4. I'll probably get a Wii U when the new Smash Bros. comes out. And maybe for Mario Kart 8 as well. And then I will probably not get an Xbox One at all. Especially since all my friends are basically getting the PS4 as well. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. And be on the lookout for new videos. <laughs>